Hey everyone, welcome to the final release team meeting for Kubernetes 129 release cycle. I will be the host for today's meeting. My name is Priyanka Sagu and I'm the release lead for Kubernetes 129 release cycle. Just a friendly note, this meeting abides by the Kubernetes CNCF code of conduct, which comes down to please be nice and excellent to each other. Also, this meeting is being recorded currently. Um, and if you don't want to be recorded on the call, uh, please feel free to turn off your audios and videos. Thank you. Um, I'll just right away go into open discussions. Do we have any open discussions for today? If not, uh, we can go to a, a final round of our team updates for today. Uh, anyone from enhancements? Sriram, I see you on the call. Uh, yeah, I missed on uh, updating the sheet, but everything is green. Thank you. Um, moving ahead with CI signal, Vyom. So we had a critical bug identified at the last moment after the mock stage was successfully triggered. Uh, it successfully completed, and uh, the resolution was disabling the feature flag scheduler queue enhanced. Now it's by default disabled. So first of all, thanks about to everyone involved in that whole process. And secondly, the actual fix for this problem is work in progress. So um, it would be good to say it fixed soon. That's the state of our side. Yeah, yeah, De definitely yeah. a lot of people were involved uh, exactly. in getting us some fix right in time. Yeah, uh, thank you to yeah. everyone involved. <laughs> um, I think the actual revert PRs might come in the patch release at some point. But um, yeah, that will require. I don't think um, they are planning to revert the PRs. I may be wrong, but I saw some activity around the actual fix only, around fixing the implementation of the queue. So I think they'll actually go for the actual fix rather than the revert. But um, if only time will tell. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'll leave that yeah. to uh, the release manager. 1.30. Yeah. Uh, we might fix it before that. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, we are off the hook uh, for yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the update. Yeah, thanks. Um, thanks a lot. Any questions for CI signal and also for enhancements? I missed asking. If not, uh, we can move ahead with bug triage. We get. Everyone, um, the status is green. We only have one PR, and it's the aforementioned reward PR that is open right now. Other than that, all is okay. Thank you. Thank you for the updates and thank you for making sure we had a clean board throughout. Uh, any questions for bug triage? If not, uh, moving ahead with Docs, Cat. Hello, uh, Docs is green. We're ready to go. A last minute PR to address the bug with scheduler queuing hints was just merged to dev129. Um, all the necessary config update PRs are open and approved and have LGTM. Netlify is updated and the Docs integration branch has approved and LGTM. So we're, um, we're ready to go. Thank you. Uh, Kat, I have a quick question. Uh, sure. What is the process for code though on Kubernetes slash website, is it part of whatever is uh, whatever you just uh, mentioned? Yeah. So after the docs are merged and the release blog is published and everything is is functional, um, I will thaw K website by closing the issue I created to freeze it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Um, then we are all good. Thank you for the update. Uh, any questions for docs? If not, uh, moving ahead with release notes, Frederico or anyone from the release notes team. I can add a bit. Uh, Frederico has been working on um, including release note related changes. Uh, again, uh, with respect to the bug report we received in the morning. Also, I think there was a mention of including um, 
cloud provider removal related changes as well again in the release notes we we lost that in a few commit uh, reviews suggestions and feedback uh, so that is also resolved i think the draft pr is ready for a review again and hopefully to be ready to be merged as well um i'll 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 check with fredrico right after this call um moving ahead with comms carol yeah uh, well i think my main task is the release block for today i am checking the new comments that i received today like a few hours and i am available to do a squash to reduce the commit so anything that you need in uh, after this meeting I, I i will work in that if you have any questions i am here to answer <laughs> uh thank you carol mickey uh cat uh, can can we like uh work with carol uh, if we need to squash or do any changes there um, and if we need anything from carol i uh, i'm not very much up to date on what is required uh, as a final thing um, so so squashing is a courtesy we don't have to do that it is better okay. if we do but it isn't necessary it was necessary when there were like 83 commits on the release blog pr but but as it stands um, it's not really a priority. Um, a priority is getting the thing in a state where it is possible for me to merge it today. Um, however, I, I will say that with the release blog still being actively worked on the morning of the release, I do think that that status should be red, not green. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think because it's green, because I uh, receive all the comments, because this thing the blocking itself is in it's ready to merge it but people is like fixing one line new line or uh, it's always a new comments that is coming uh, in this state do you think this will be red because for I, me, I, yes this this always, should be red not green yeah uh, for me it's like a stable that is merged because it's already all the paragraphs and all that we need to publish the blog but because it's always people that will read in the last minute and say, oh, we can improve this and this and put the comments. Uh, I, think in, I think in that case, what we want to do is create, like commit, we can commit this. Um, and then if we want to, we can open up another PR against it when it's actually live and then make those changes. I just feel like in its current state, if we don't accept it as done, we're just going to keep having all these hanging commits that yeah. we don't. Reach. That's the point because Right now, like I, 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 like one week more or less, the block is like in at least in stable. That I, I will say that because we review with all the sick owners about to to create the paragraphs, but people always is commenting like small changes, and I will be available to merge it. But if we don't have this like closing, it's always like new comments coming. Or the pool this request. happens every time and if anything it's it's a topic for a third retro it's it it's something i've raised in the past too of like there was opportunity to review the blog for like weeks and then people show up the day of release and add a bunch of comments and it's like y'all um yeah. yeah i have no answers i'm just commiserating um yeah and then one um, one quick thing, and this is more for Priyanka, it does show you as having requested changes. Um, do you mind giving it a quick look and seeing whether or not that's done? Um, I yeah, so I, I requested a change. Um, I think uh, I I do requested a change in the morning, um, yeah. but I think after a comment from Tim, we decided to move it to later. Uh, okay. Once the PR is much like just it was a structural change, just just pointing out that we are not listing all the all the stable uh caps oh, in that I, particular yeah, section yeah. but but a but a I committed because someone from SIG made a good suggestion so, about it. Oh okay. Um, um just coming back to maybe uh what is required for combs today, I think uh let's go ahead with merging whatever is required or whatever you Mickey, Carol, Cat, you all think is required. Just let's just merge it and uh, after that, we can put a stop yeah. on receiving any more suggestions. 
Yeah, um, I think it's a, a good discussion to, to to this because in my point of view will be green because this blog was reviewing like more than three weeks and it's not big changes in this time. Like the main contents, the main paragraphs about all the main themes is there. And yeah, but yeah, I am open to discuss this, this point because I know that for the people that is checking is like, oh, this has a, a, not, uh, a lot of new comments. Like not so much if you review the before <clears throat> blogs, it was like very hard to, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah, um, I I honestly have no, really no solution for this right now, but definitely like as Xander suggested, maybe this is a uh, topic for a wider discussion and we need to think about something uh, to fix it for future releases. Um, again, coming back for today, let's merge everything that we need to merge to get the PR ready. Uh, I think like within... 15, 20 minutes of this call. Uh, and then uh, I don't know when do we really need to merge merge the PR, right? As the uh, comms for final release cut is out. Is that so, Kat, Mickey? Uh, just, just confirming when do we really need to merge the blog PR? Um, the blog PR merges after I merge the integration branch for the docs. Um, so if the uh, no mock has already begun um, sometime within the next like two or three hours, probably I'll be needing to merge that blog. I would really prefer to have it um, in a state where it's ready to go as soon as humanly possible, though I don't like running this up against the wire. Um, is it ready to go? I think that's the question. Um, let me take a look. Um, I will ask SIG Docs to give it one last pass. Um, they will understand that it's a situation of if it is like publicly viewable and it's it's only stuff that we can clean up after that's left um and then it should be okay it looks fine to me at this point um since mickey has merged in all of the changes from uh rita but i do still need um sig docs to look at it so i'll get natalie and um tim or ray on it to give me a proven ldtm perfect uh oh, thank you so much Mm -hmm. that uh and then we are good to merge it uh once we have a green from okay um uh, yeah i think uh i don't know where should we should we be following up on this uh should i create a thread on sig release just to get like the post meeting updates on where we are with the release blog or feel free to post them anywhere okay. um okay thank you um just moving ahead uh, with our team updates, release branch management. I think the current update is we are working on 129.0 uh, final release cut. Uh, we are past mock release cuts, uh, mock stage release runs, um, also no mock stage and image promotion. We had a bit of a hiccup at image promotion, but I think we are good to go ahead with final uh, no mock release cut. Um, which should be happening. I think Jim just kicked it off a minute back. So that's happening. Um, please keep an eye on uh, this thread for any more updates for, regarding the release cut. And going ahead to uh, Xander with Emirates advisor, advisor updates. Yeah, um, only thing I have is I'm putting together the uh, shadow survey. Um, so I expect that that to go out this week. Um, I'm making some kind of changes to it to simplify it a little bit to hopefully up the response rate. Um, in the past, the response rate has been rather low. And so I'm hoping by kind of paired down the questions a little bit, um, it'll be uh, easier for folks to kind of just breeze through it. Um, yeah. 
that should go out this week. That's uh, and I'll also be creating a poll in Slack to decide if we are going to be running a third retro. Um, and that's all for me. Thank you, Sander. Uh, yeah, I, I think from yesterday, yesterday's discussion, we don't have any open items, but just we, we just discussed about comms topic uh, and we can decide based on votes. Uh, thank you. And uh, moving ahead with my updates, I think other than the release kickoff, um, the only update I have is 130 uh, shadow application is out. Um, I think we are currently receiving um, applications till January 3. So please, please uh, submit your application if you are planning to come back to the release team um, in any capacity. We will be uh, doing, we'll, we'll be uh, form, forming our release signal team from previous um, bug triage and CI signal shadows, not just from 129, I believe every previous cycle, if anybody is willing to come back. Um, but preference would be for 129 because people are aware of the recent changes. Uh, we'll not be um, adding any new applicants to release signal team in 130. Do we have a link and, to the shadow? Oh, sorry, yes, we do. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I just added uh, to the document. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and finally, uh, six scalability, we do not have any updates from them, but I think the board is playing now, right now for scalability jobs. So we should be good there. Uh, with that, um, I'll take this opportunity to thank everyone who is on the call uh, to help me throughout this release cycle. It would not have been possible uh, without all the help I received from each one of you. Um, thank you for giving me this great experience. Uh, honestly, I learned a lot from every one of you and um, yeah, it was a great journey for me as a release lead. I hope to work with you all inside, outside SIG release, inside, outside Kubernetes project and stay connected. Thank you everyone once again. With that, um, any last minute questions we have on the recording? I just want to say thanks for doing such a good job uh, running this release. I know that we've been delayed by a little bit more than a week, but that was I mean, definitely not for a lack of effort on your part. I think this has been a really smooth release process. So really, you know, the, the key kind of takeaway here for you folks. Uh, thank you, Mickey. And, and we have Jim on the call. Jim, do you want to talk about the release branch management updates? Yeah, sorry about that. Um... Yeah, so I just kicked off the release just now, and so we're waiting for that to successfully complete. Man, <clears throat> given all the hiccups we saw last night, I think we're in good shape, all things considered. Oh, I, I was on mute. I, I was just saying thank you uh, for staying up late last night and making sure everything was in place. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> we are finally going to release. Uh, I think... If if I understand correctly, after no mock release cut, we are uh, ready to send out the comms um, from release team side. Once the oh. no mock is complete, I need to merge the docs and publish the blog. And once I've confirmed yeah, okay. that both of those are functional and look look as they should, then we can publicly announce the release. Okay, so. Um, what I'll do is I'll create a thread for that uh, then on SIG release to make sure I got I coordinate with everything okay. uh, from Docstream. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, everything you need, please create a thread that I will be here to help you. Uh, any, any problem with the blog. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Uh, I'll just create a thread on SIG release for uh, on comms and docs follow up as well as release notes. Um, Thank you, everyone, once again for joining this release meeting and all the previous release meetings. See you all again in the coming ones. Um, I'll go ahead and stop the recording now. <laughs>